Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is unity, the burden of Jesus. And our angle scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 17 verses 20 and 21. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. In John chapter 17, the Bible records one of the deepest and most touching prayers that Jesus prayed publicly. The time for the ultimate fulfillment of his ministry had come and he was praying for those whom he was going to leave behind as he went to the cross and subsequently to heaven. It was a prayer that spanned the entire chapter um, of John chapter 17 and I encourage you to read that chapter. Jesus was praying not just for those he had discipled but for all of us, those of us who would believe long after he had gone. The major thesis captured in Jesus' prayer was unity. In verse 11, listen to what Jesus prayed. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. My dear listeners, Jesus could have prayed for anything at this time. He could have prayed for the church to have money. He could have prayed for the church to have power. He could have prayed for the disciples or their organization to become the most influential organization in the world. He could have prayed anything, but he prayed for unity. Listen again to our anchor scripture. I pray they will all be one just as you and I are one. My dear listeners, Jesus, our Jesus, must have known something about unity that the Bible did not record expressly in this place. His burden was for unity. His burden, more than any other thing, was that you and I and the entire body of Christ will be united in heart, in mind, in faith, in love. This is the burden of Jesus. Unity of the body. At every point in time, you are either working in tandem with this burden or you are working against it. You see, the tower that was to be built in Babel in Genesis chapter 11 was stopped by heaven because of the possibilities that were captured within a civilization that was united. Imagine the power that the body of Christ all over the world will exude when we become truly united, especially in these last days. Don't even think abstract now. Think even about your own local assembly. Do you know what kind of power can be released if you all are with one mind and in one accord? Jesus' burden when he was on earth and his burden right now for his body is unity. Please pray for unity. But more than that, be an agent of unity in the body of Christ. Don't tear down. Build up, encourage, love, forgive, pray, and God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please give us the grace, O God, to attain to the unity that you have so earnestly prayed for. Continue to take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's Word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.